This video is gonna cover adding the user profiles to our blog post. We're gonna add in the uh, number of comments each user has created, the number of times their profile has been viewed, as well as the cumulative post views for all of their posts. And then we'll add in the post feed and we'll add in this user avatar. We'll get started with the user avatar, which we can do by coming into the app, the models and the user.rb. And then in here, we just wanna say this has one attached avatar. We can then come over to our controllers, our users, and our registrations controller. Let me full screen this. Then right after the email, we'll just tab over a whole bunch and we'll put in the avatar with a comma. Again, you can name this avatar whatever you'd like. Just make sure it's consistent across all of these different areas that we're putting it. Once we have this done, we then have the model and the controller set up. So let's go handle the view. For this, I'm just going to cover adding this in as a uh, edit to your registration. But if you want to add it in for a new user uh, registration, so like when a new user signs up, then just go into new. Uh, this is just when you go to your edit account is where I'm adding this. So to do this, we can come into our edit account right below the email. We'll create a div with a field class. We'll give it a f.label for the avatar. Oops, avatar. And then we'll do a br tag. Then we can do a f.file field for the avatar. And at this point, we have handled all three areas we need to. We can now come over here and run a Rails S to start the server. This may or may not work because we have, uh, apparently we have pending migrations and this is not gonna work because we have pending migrations, but my database already exists. So let me go ahead and drop my database. I'll then do a Rails DB colon setup, and now I'll do a Rails S, and I'll refresh the page again. I'll log into the admin account with dean at example.com and a password of password. I can then come over to my account, click on the edit account, and I'll upload a file. I'll pick one of my profile images and give myself a password for the current password. Then if we scroll up, we should see that we updated the active storage blobs which is what we're looking for here. So we now have that avatar. We just now need to display it when we go to the user's show page, which we'll do by going to the blog and clicking on my name here or whatever you have. And then that'll take us to the user profile page. Now in here, we have some legacy code from when we were using just a name. Of course, we don't have a user.name anymore. So if I zoom in, this will throw an error. Instead, we have a user.fullName. But of course we need to change a little bit more than just the user's name in here. So to do this, let's come into the user's uh, folder inside of our uh, app views, and then let's click on profile. In here, we basically want to rewrite a lot of this. So we'll just go ahead and, uh, well, I guess we can leave it just to have some starter. That way we're not stuck typing everything, but we wanna create a container with a margin top dash five. And we'll hit tab on that. And we'll throw everything inside of that container. We can then create a row. This is just going to allow us to do some uh, some horizontal management. And then we can do some, well, I guess it's more vertical management. Uh, we can do a call dash four. This is gonna be for our user avatar. So in here, we can do something like a image tag for the at user dot avatar. And we'll give it some inline styling because I can't be bothered to create a class. So we'll just say this has a width of 150 pixels a height of 150 pixels and a border dash radius of I think 100% will give you that round border. And then we only want to do this if the at user dot avatar dot attached question mark, uh, which means if we don't have a avatar attached, so if the user during the signup process didn't edit their account afterwards, so they don't have a profile picture at all, then we just don't show this image tag. That just stops us from get, getting a null error. So let's now, uh, well, let's replace this name with a full name just to stop this error from showing up and then refresh the page. So there you go. We now have this uh, profile image being displayed along with the name and the view counter. Let's take this a step further. Uh, instead of simply having the name displayed in a new row like that, let's give this a call dash eight, because remember this is using bootstrap and bootstrap works on a 12 sized grid. So four plus eight gives you a full row, which now means we have the name and the views being displayed up here. 
Now, instead of having just the views right here, let's take this and let's hit enter and let's move this one down as well. And let's start by pluralizing the comments. So we'll say uh, pluralize the at user.comments.size with the word comment. So we're just grabbing the number of comments and then basically calling count on it. So if we refresh, that gives us 50 comments, four views, but let's add a little separator there. To do that, we'll just say space with the pipe. We can refresh. Now we have the comments there and we're getting this updated. Next thing we'd like to do is to get the total post views. For this, we'll say we should pluralize the at total views, which we'll say is the total post view. Now we need, we do need to create this uh, because right now this will throw an error. If I come over here and I refresh the page, that doesn't seem to be throwing an error, which is a little bit strange. Let's come into the user's controller. It's not defined. I would honestly expect it to throw a undefined, but I guess pluralize maybe handles it if it's null. So whatever, let's keep going until we get to the point where we actually need the posts. So down here, we're going to come outside of this row because we have this row right here and we'll create a new row. So we'll say dot row. And then inside of this row, we'll do a dot call dash one. And we're actually not going to put anything in that. Instead, we'll do a dot call dash 10. This is going to be where we put our posts and then we'll do a dot call dash one at the bottom here. I know there's offset classes, but this also works and it sort of illustrates the same point. Uh, we can then do a at post.each do post. We can say end right here. And at this point, we're probably just gonna let GitHub Copilot decide what we need to do. So it's gonna give us a card and an MT-3. It gives us a card body, a H5 with a class of card title and the post.title. But instead of doing a post.title, let's change this to a link to the post.title and direct us to the post. We can then do a, uh, I think it wanted a P tag. And this P tag is gonna be for the post.body and then it will give us the post.created at. Now I'm going to take this post.created at, I'm going to move this up here. And in the previous example, GitHub Copilot did give me a card text for the post.body, so we'll include that. And then instead of doing just created at, we're going to put this in a string. We're going to add in, oops, we're going to add in a template where we say this is the time ago in words. So time ago in words of the post.created at. And then afterwards we can just put the word ago because this is gonna return like seven days and then with the space ago, so it turns into seven days ago or five minutes ago, you get the idea. And then for the body, we uh, have rich text here. So we have the action text. So we need to convert this to plain text, which is just gonna give us the raw words. And then on that, we can actually call a method called truncate words where we just, uh, define how many words this should have. So here I'm going to say this should have a hundred words. And then once this is all done, we actually have this end tag right here. I think this needs to go down two divs. We can hit save. And now we clearly have some HTML formatting issues here. So this looks fine. We have the call dash 10. We have the row and we have the container. So we'll close off this div as well. And that should give us a completed HTML uh, format. Now, if we refresh, we'll finally get our error for the null. And I guess we can just cover everything in the controller at once. So if we come up to the red, oops, if we come up to the user's controller, inside of the user's controller, we basically want to add the posts. So we'll say at posts equals at user dot posts dot order, order by the created at and DESC. And you should know what's going to happen here. Uh, if you've been paying attention, you already know that bullet's not going to like this. So if we refresh, you can see bullet wants us to eager load the rich text body so that we don't have as many calls to the database. So of course we're going to come over here to the posts and we're going to say this needs to includes rich text body, which will then get rid of that bullet error, which will then get rid of that bullet error. If I wait for it to save and we're good to go. Now we still have zero total post views here, which is kind of cringe. So let's go ahead and let's say the at total views is equal to zero. And then we want to do at post dot each do post total views plus equals post dot views. We say end. Of course we could take all of this and like throw it into a method, uh, but you get the idea, you know, leave it as an exercise to the viewer, just come down to private, create a method, return the results up here and you're good to go. 
But this way we now get the total post views, except for some reason it doesn't want to do that. So let's come back over here and see if I did something a little bit questionable with my logic. Oops, uh, we can come over to here and we have the global views being displayed. These posts just not been viewed at all. They have not been viewed. I'm just not paying attention. So if I come in here and I refresh the page, uh, let's say I refresh this to 16 times. This will now say 22 uh, profile views, 16 total views. Let's come back over to our user profile real quick and let's just add in another pipe after the views so that this looks a little bit cleaner. So this is now 16. Let's come back to the blog and let's look at a different post, maybe this one. We'll refresh this one a couple times. So this is now, what, 16 plus eight, so 24 total views. So that's pretty much all I wanted to cover with this video. It's just a quick way to create a uh, little account profile system here so that you can look at someone on the website, see what articles they've posted, see how popular they are. Of course, if you're the only one posting on a website, it doesn't really make sense. Uh, but you never know, maybe you're trying to create a blog as a service platform and this is something you're interested in. It also never hurts to know how to do this in case you decide to take this tutorial series and go create your own project that does something other than a blog. But that's going to do it for me. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.